Do you want more powerful smartphones with better battery life? I, I can't believe I wrote a question that dumbed down because of course you do. Pushing the limits of smartphone performance and longevity requires chip makers to craft smaller and smaller silicon. And Samsung has recently made a breakthrough by building seven nanometer chips using extreme ultraviolet or EUV. To break down this breakthrough, we need to take a closer look at the problem first. When you're a semiconductor giant like a Samsung or a TSMC, you're generally using beams of light to etch circuitry patterns into a silicon wafer, which is then used as a template for the insanely small paths and structures that get built into a chip. This is called lithography and it's badass. Here's the thing though. The high-speed processors of the future are so complex that the laser beams these companies are using to etch these paths are too thick. It's like using a Sharpie to draw a detailed portrait instead of a very fine pen. You can do it, but there are better ways. Samsung's EUV is that better way. It gives Samsung the precision it needs to build the profoundly complex silicon our devices are going to rely on very soon. Now, Samsung's big step forward here isn't that it dreamed up EUV in the first place. People have been trying to make that a viable part of the chip making process for close to 20 years. What Samsung did figure out is how to make EUV affordable and effective at scale. And that's huge, especially when you're the largest chip maker in the entire world. So yeah, Samsung's future chips will be even faster and more efficient because of EUV and its rivals are catching up. We just heard today that Taiwan's TSMC might be using EUV to make the chipsets for Apple's 2019 iPhones. The semiconductor war is just going to heat up all over again, but hey, now you can explain some of it to your friends and family over dinner and kind of sound like you know what you're talking about. You're so welcome. We'll see you next week with more Engadget today.